Okay folks, this is our first step. We're going to be working on this bulkhead section and the seat cushion and build the seat belts which will be on this section here. So let's do this. Okay folks, I've decided to do a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, fuel tank as well as well as the cockpit. We're also going to move into the floor and the sides and do the other side we're actually going to try and get the whole of the cockpit assembly done um, so hopefully we can get to this stage but going back to this section here these section here which is these two pieces once they're cleaned up they simply just get press it into place the fit is really good doesn't require any glue but obviously you want to but the engineering in the fit so far on what I've come across is really good um, these are going to be done in uh, aircraft aluminum colour so we will use uh, AK Extreme Metals for this um, and this is another part for the fuel tank um, this requires a little bit of clean up and this is going to go uh, This goes this way around and that will slot into there um, i have noticed with this plastic is very soft um, so you don't want to overdo it with the sanding because it's very easy to the, uh, get rid of here we've got a bit of a seam line so we're going to use these scrapers these scrapers from mr hobby or is it uh yeah it is mr hobby i'm sure it's mr hobby but they're really good Um, at the top here we've got a seam line couple of, couple of swipes the job would be a good one so we can go ahead and attach that to this part now All of this can be assembled because it's going to be a aircraft aluminum. A little bit of glue, capiri action runs itself around. Okay, this part here is part of the bulkhead and where the engine will sit. And there's some nasty ejector pins. You see there's two here and here. I've already taken care of three of them. Good thing about this soft plastic, you can get rid of the ejector pins really easy. So it's just a case of coming in with a skinny, giving it a couple of rubs, get a buffer, wipe off the excess, and then it should be it should be nice and clean. So I'll go ahead and finish this. Okay, folks, these are all cleaned up now. This is all going to be for the copy. All these segments are going to be painted in the gloss black, and a couple of bits of silver or aluminum. We're just going to paint them black first. These center pieces. Is the uh, seat is going to be the leather brown we've got the linen covered uh, firewall and the cockpit floor which is going to be a uh, wood so we're gonna to have to do that a uh, wood color first and these segments here are all aluminum so aluminum fuel, fuel tank aluminum firewall and seat and aluminum small parts or aluminium for wherever you are in the world so go, go ahead and paint these now so okay this piece and this piece um, go in here I'm 
which it is this way around. So we go ahead and glue that into place. And we have this really delicate part that runs across here. And I have no idea what it does. Now you flip the piece over and you have this piece here. Um, it's got a uh, it, most of the parts are keyed, so you can't really make a mistake. That locks in nicely. So it's a tight fit. It's a dab of glue, that's all you're going to need. Um, there is a dial to go on there. I presume that's something to do with the fuel, because this is the fuel tank, after all. Um, and flipping it back over again. In this centerpiece, such a tight fit, goes another dial. So there you are, there's a fuel tank all complete and built. Um, and it's ready for black primer and we can paint it in aluminum colour. Okay folks, as you saw earlier, we've gone ahead and painted the fuel tank now in a uh, aluminum colour, so it's nicely done. We also finish off the uh, seat, it's done in aluminum colour now. The bulkhead as well, and you saw we've done a linen fabric colour. This is a custom mix. I don't know what mix or ratio it is. It's a colour I've had for a long time. Um, and I found it in my uh, mixing stash. And so it looked perfectly fine as a linen colour. So our next step is basically assembly. So we're going to do the cushion into the seat because that's all painted. The linen's done. We can go ahead and do this section. We can go ahead and attach all the black parts to the uh, fuel tank side to the uh, uh, cockpit framing is all done we can weather that and chip it a little bit and the floor I've still got to do, do some wood grain effects I've done a brown color but we've got to make it like a wood effect and the uh, footrest has got to be done silver and this is assembly section and we're still going to work our head and do the seat belts okay folks so I've gone ahead and uh, primer the uh, parts for the seat belt one thing I did not notice, if you look carefully, they are completely cut out. You don't have to uh, cut them out yourself. They've been completely cut out, like laser cut. I didn't notice that before, which is a nice touch. Um, I have gone ahead and painted the uh, gun barrels as well in primer. 
Um, but yeah, I didn't even notice that before. Okay, now as you saw we finished painting the uh, green colour for the seat belts. now we're going to chip them up with some silver. You uh, dab them on your tissue, get all the excess off as a normal and then we're going to slowly work our way over the belts because the seat belts are going to take a hell of a lot of wear and beating especially when the pilot puts them on and off take some on and off so this is a case of working your way around and slowly start to chip them up okay folks now we've painted these seat belts and done a little bit of chipping and stuff now we're going to actually work on the fabric and get these assembled Okay folks, I want to talk about these seat belts. I've had to do these off camera. This is some of the hardest thing I've ever had to do in me building models since I've ever built models. I was trying to do these fabric seat belts. It turns out these fabric seat belts on the back of the uh, white paper, if you peel that off, the actual fabric is sticky. Um, I don't know if you are meant to take the white backing off and use and use them as, as self self adhesive um, uh, belts it doesn't say anything in the instructions about them being sticky um, I've had to use PVA glue and it only just about holds it um, getting these metal metal parts on these and the buckles are really really fiddly um, there was no way I could do that on camera because I did end up having a few coarse words trying to uh, sort it all out um, but this is the finished result this is what I've managed to get so far there are lap belts which I am going to do later on because they are tricky and they are starting to aggravate me um, as for the back of it they get glued down on the back um, but I can understand what they're trying to go for and trying to make it realistic and fabric belts do look good but I will find a lot of models modelers will struggle with this type thing I just about managed to pull it off and I find it really tricky and um, we probably will give these a little bit of a wash but I'm going to test it first on the scrap material for, before I even attempt to put it on the on the model because I don't want to do a, some what kind of wash over the belts and it screws it up so we will test it first. Okay folks this section here we, we painted earlier so this side of the frame this section here is like I believe some um, possibly throttle cable I'm not 100% sure but we're going to chip this up because this is probably going to see a little bit of wear this piece and this piece it is part of the flight stick so this goes in between the pilot's legs this is going to see we're definitely going to see wear and we're going to paint the uh, grip handles these are the uh, pedals these are definitely going to see wear so we're going to chip these parts up as well because they're going to see a little bit of wear same way as before sponge in silver paint take the excess off 
and slowly chip away. Okay folks, this is inside one of the cockpit halves. This triangle piece is where the wood effect is going to go. There's a couple of jetter pins you're going to have to take care of. These ones here at the back, all of this, you don't really need to. I've test fitted part of the bulkhead and framing. Um, and these jetter pins here are the closest ones. You don't need to take care of those. Um, so obviously the top of this is going to be linen. So this one's we need to take care of. It's a case of just coming in with a skinny, giving it a rub. And it's going to take care of those nicely. This one here is not a jetter pin. This is part of the uh, aircraft. So it's only these two. And this little one up here. And this one here. So these four, you need the ones to take care of. Okay folks, next step is to do wood grain effects. We can use Ab Tie Longs 502 Earth Colour, which is their BAT093. So we just need a pea size out of the tube. More than enough. We're going to let this bleach out for a little bit. Okay, now the oils have leached out the stuff, we want to take some of the oil while it's quite thick. And have it on the sponge, and it's a case of dragging down really quickly. So we get the desired effect. So we finished working on the wood effects now with the oils. So this is what we come up with. So this is the uh, floor of the cockpit. And now this is the uh, panels in the inside. So now these, once these are dry, we can give it a uh, that clear coat of orange and red. Okay, folks, the wood wood uh, wood grain effect is all done now, and we also sprayed the linen colour inside. Uh, our next step is to get a uh, oil wash. So we've used a light uh, light mud colour from. Have Tylon paint colour. So, what we're going to do, we're going to brush the wash all inside of the uh, lit, uh, fabric. So, mix the fabric. has a bit of a uh, worn effect I didn't want to go too dark Um, we can also do a tiny bit inside the seat section 
this is this is fabric as well okay folks I want to turn your attention to the dolls that we previously done decals for um, now we can add some my, my Microsoft Crystal Clear over the decals um, once it dries it can make it look like glass so get a little bit on a cotton uh, stick and this is just a case of Carefully going over the decal. So we're going to do this dial and there's one more on the compass. Howdy folks, the cockpit is all finished now and all complete. Um, it was a lot of fun, but highly, deta uh, highly detailed, but highly fragile at the same time. Um, I've had no issues with the kit going together. However, some parts I've had to do off camera because they're hard for me to do. And, and there's no way I could do it with a camera in my face, so I needed to get up close. Hence the rigging and the seat belts were done off camera, and this is the finished result. Of the completed cockpit this is the last time you're going to see this cockpit as is because our next step is to sandwich it inside the uh, frames this is the uh, linen and the pine effect that I've come up with for the wood it is a little bit shiny because it has a clear over it to mimic a uh, varnish as for the uh, rest of the cockpit you can see it's been rigged and wired I've used easy line for the uh, rigging and some fishing line for the cables. The only downfall in the instructions, it doesn't tell you anything about what size um, rigging to use. So it's just a case of working out for yourself. Uh, the cables, probably a little bit too big maybe, but it's the best I, I, I've got to work with. That's all I have to work with. Um, there is the seatbelt detail. Again, it was filmed off camera because it's hard and just tricky you've got some dials on the fuel tank compass the uh, wood grain again on the floor as i say my cockpit framing is done in black there are another option of doing it in olive green um, i'm am doing the early version of the red baron and his cockpit requires to be painted in the black gloss color um, as i say if you're doing one of the other schemes it may require yours to be in the olive green but this is the cockpit.